one is John Lennon on the Roger Day show. So how many DJs managed to wangle a free plug from every member of the Beatles? Roger Twiggy Day did. This man was right at the heart of the swinging 60s. One of the pirates who broadcast from the high seas on Radio Caroline, Radio England. It was totally free and ad lib. You could say what you wanted, you could play what you wanted. It was, it was like a kid in a sweet shop. It was just unbelievable. And of course, the, the reaction from the public, we were like modern day Robin Hoods. Hello, this is Roger Day across the West Midlands. Nowadays, Roger Day is on the Birmingham based Saga Radio. And this week he's celebrating 40 years on the airwaves. He's no longer a spring chicken but he reckons his generation were the true wild guys. And these days, a lot of that rock and roll passion has gone flat. I find radio today very boring, I've got to say, you know. It's, it's lost that spark. Those days were, were, were much different. I have a feeling that if Kenny Everett came along now, he probably wouldn't get a job. Political correctness has a lot to do with it, of course. I mean, yes, even I have to watch what I say. <laughs> I suppose a lot of the time they are frightened to open their mouths because they're frightened of upsetting some group, shall we say. And it's, it's a bit sad, really, because uh, you've got to have that free speech element to everything, I think, otherwise it sounds very, very staid. My generation, which I term it as, we're a ridiculous lot, really, because we refuse to go old gracefully. And we used to go to Woodstock, the Isle of Wight Festival and everything. You don't stop liking that sort of music. I think the carpet slippers don't happen anymore. You know, we're a, we're a funny lot. I think we're wilder than teenagers today. They seem a very staid lot, actually. They don't seem to protest about anything. I'm very worried about that. <laughs> Young people are meant to protest. I guess it's because jobs are hard to find uh, and, and stuff like that. But no, young people should be revolting. And we were certainly very revolting back then. We thought we were going to change the world. And, and most of us still think we will. 40 years, I never thought it would last this long. I didn't think it would last 40 weeks but uh, I think it's a bit too late to go back to the proper job. Roger Day. Well, yeah, but there were some pretty awful DJs too a few years ago, if you think. The good old days. Of, you see, yeah. I think Elliot Webb and Ed James are exciting yeah. DJs, but you know. I know. I people know, reminiscing. Um, I can remember listening to Radio Caroline. Gosh. Under the bedclothes, my little tranny. I have to say <laughs> I can't. Anyway, let's move on. We're out and about next week in our Central Tonight tour bus. This week, it's the...